Hi everyone, my name's Jamie. I've had a stoma for five years after two failed bladder neck reconstructions. Today I'm going to show you these two products. We have the MTG Easy Advancer that comes in the regular size and also the mini size. Today's for the demonstration, I'm going to show you the regular size, which everything that's in the regular size also comes in the mini size. Just so everyone knows, I use a 12 French catheter. However, the MTG catheters range from 8 to 16. So let's see what's in this packet. First, I have the latex free gloves, the antiseptic swabs, the gauze pad, the blue pad, and finally, the catheter in the bag. The first step of the catheterization process is to wash your hands. This is my MTG catheter. As you can see, the bag protects the sterility of the catheter and also will catch the drainage. You can also see that it's already lubricated, so that eliminates that step. You can use it in the car, you can use it in the bathroom, you can use it anywhere you have to go. This is the introducer tip that helps protect the sterility of the catheter. When I'm ready to catheterize, I'm going to insert the introducer tip and the catheter to my stoma. Before I catheterize, I need to clean the area around my stoma. I'm going to use the three swab sticks, all three of them, one time around my stoma to keep the area clean. If you were to go with the mini pack, there's an antiseptic wipe instead of the three swabs. Likewise, you just wipe it around the area of the stoma to make sure it's nice and clean once and you're ready to go. So now I'm going to show you how to advance the catheter as you're catheterizing. You place your hand at the 1400 cc's and push up one inch at a time. As you can see, it's really easy. The catheter starts coming out of the bag, all lubricated and ready to go, and it doesn't come out, which is really cool, because then you don't have to worry about if the urine's going to come out or if anything's going to get on your clothes. Now I'm going to start catheterizing. As I said before, I'm going to take the tip and put it towards my stoma. And now I'm just going to feed it in until I get some urine. Once it hits, I'm going to push a little bit further so that it's at the center of the bladder. After the drainage is complete, I'm going to take the catheter in the bag out by using the finger hole and also a piece of gauze by placing it on the tip of the catheter. After catheterizing, I need to drain the urine into the toilet. However, if you need a sterile sample, you can go to the MTG website and they'll have information for you there. Right now, I'm just going to tear where it says tear all the way across and pour. To dispose of the bag, you wrap it up into a small ball in your fist, take your first glove and wrap it halfway around, and then put it in your other hand and wrap that glove around. That way you're never touching the urine. 
After finishing the process and disposing of the bag, I need to wash my hands again.